What real, tangible demonstration is there that I'm converted? If anyone asked me, I would say I'm an Adventist Christian, even though I wasn't necessarily being the best Christian or keeping those principles. I had that knowledge of him and I knew he was looking out for me, but I didn't really know what he expected of me. I've always been at a Christian school, so I've always had a relationship with him, but I wouldn't say that I was um, intentional about that relationship. And then after I graduated from John Evans Andrews School, I went to public school, and so time that you spend with God every day at school, you know, I didn't have that anymore. I was diagnosed with Crohn's when I was in fifth grade. No one knew what was wrong with me, then I got hospitalized. I was really bad one night, and they kept me for like a week, and then they diagnosed me with Crohn's. I had a flare-up my senior year. My stomach was hurting really bad, and I couldn't play football my senior year ended up losing a year of everything because I had to get some pretty serious treatments. I remember praying and asking God, you know, be with me, you know, this is tough, be with me. It was around that time that I had made the decision that I was old enough. I wasn't going to rely on school to tell me about God. I wasn't going to rely on other people, but I needed to get to know him myself. And I lived a few houses down from Sligo. There's one service that uh, Pastor Tapp made an altar call. He said, some of you hear God speaking to you right now. You need to make that decision to follow God. I was struggling because part of me is saying, well, you already made that decision. You know, I was baptized a long time ago. You know, I didn't have the best relationship with my family, and I didn't really have role models to look to to tell me what was the right thing to do. So it was kind of just me yearning for God. I want to live the life God has for me. I made that decision to go down there, and it was definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made. Pastor Tapp introduced me to the youth pastor at that time. For the last seven years, I've been working with the youth, and my relationship with God has just been growing ever since. At first, I thought I have no right <laughs> to being in front of these kids and telling them about God, you know, when I haven't really been living that life. But it just goes to show you how God can use anyone. He gave me the knowledge as I went on. He equipped me as I went. It's one thing to go up there and, and listen um, to someone tell you about God, but to put it in action is just that really showed me more about God's character. My wife also serves at Sligo. She works with the Young Adult Program, and so we get to serve the Lord we love together, which is a huge blessing. We met in high school. I ended up liking her for quite a long time. It wasn't until later that I realized that, you know, I wasn't on the right path that God wanted me to be on. I couldn't be the person she needed me to be. We just got married a few months ago, and it's been one of the, the probably the biggest blessing in my life. It's important to surround yourself with people that care about God and care about the things you care about. And I've met some of my best friends um, through the SID team. I could have ended up doing a bunch of other things, but God had a plan for me, even when I didn't have a plan for myself. And I'm so thankful God chose me, someone who I, I wouldn't have chose myself. So just know that God can use you and God has a purpose for you. And when you hear him reach out to you, don't be afraid to answer that call.